Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. We are starting a new vlog. What's up? If you're new here, hi, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, we're gonna start a few days in my life. Today is Tuesday. It is a beautiful spring day in New York. So literally my <laughs> the end of my last vlog, I was like, I just wanted to be 65 and sunny. And literally on Monday, it was 65 and sunny. So like, thank you mother nature, I guess. I'm actually really playing with like no foundation makeup. So just like a little bit of blush, a lippy, some eyeshadow, brows, like very basic because I'm a sweaty girl. And in summer, I just don't want a bunch of makeup on my face, but I still want to be cute. Like I still want a flush of blush, you know? Um, today I'm wearing the Tower 28 Milky Shine On Lip Gloss, I think. I don't know. The names of these products are, are getting out of hand if we're honest. But this is like one of the best lip glosses I think I've tried in a minute. And it's different than other lip glosses that I really love. Like Fenty, I feel like it's a baddie lip gloss. This is like a clean girl aesthetic lip gloss, you know? So I'm a big fan. Sephora sale is on right now. So I might pop into Sephora and see what's up. That could be fun. But yeah, I'm gonna head into lab. We have lab meeting today. I'm not presenting, so, you know, it's a normal normal Tuesday morning, but I need to finish up a Western blot. So much fun today. And then I'm going to see a monkey man with Samaria and Zoe, so, tonight, so. That should be fun. Let's go. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I wanted to quickly check in because I don't think I vlogged last night. I just got home, so I got home late. So I was just kind of like moving through my um, evening routine. I will talk about Monkey Man and my thoughts on it um, later today. So stay tuned for that. Go see it, just go and see it. It is phenomenal. Dev Patel, his mind is just insane. But anyway, more on that later. Um, definitely worth a watch but wanted to quickly fill you in on the makeup deets and my outfit really quickly because it seems like people like seeing that today i'm wearing the lancome into matte shade got me blushing and i just kind of dabbed it in and did like a blotted soft matte look which is so outside of my comfort zone but along with this like blush color play i think it's stunning so i'm kind of obsessed with this look but yeah let's get into this outfit okay today's kind of like business casual meets like preppy vibes i, I don't really know so this top is from hill house i really love it it's a good like layering piece but it's also like it's cropped so it just goes with like a lot of pants and skirts and things and i think you can just like easily wear it by itself or like under things so i really like the like stretchy kind of material i think it's really versatile okay and then i decided to put on this oversized black blazer from h&m which is honestly one of my favorites i wish i would have gotten it in multiple colors because it's just so easy and i think the fit is phenomenal on me so i really like this blazer but i'm just layering it over top of that and then doing my Madewell Harlow pants that I love. You just, you have to iron these. They are super wrinkly and you can't start the day being super wrinkly. You know, they can become super wrinkly throughout the day, but you gotta start kind of clean crisp. And then I changed my shoes before I was wearing like slip on loafers, but I changed into my naturalizer flats. This is just like a cool pair of flats. I think they've got a square toe, a little bit of a, an elongated toe box so i think they're cool from naturalizer they're so comfortable so i would recommend but yeah that is the vibe cute happy wednesday i will see you when i see you Good morning happy thursday i don't actually know what the last time i vlogged was maybe yesterday morning but i'm headed on a little walk i'm hoping that i don't get rained on it's the rain's supposed to be in and out this morning but i'm just gonna go for a little walk around central park i don't typically work out thursday mornings because i work out wednesday evening so today is my rest day but i put on my little invisible pimple patches i've been trying 
these ones from Mighty Patch and I like them. They're like not, I mean you can still see, well, when you're close up you can obviously see them but I feel like from far away they're quite innocuous. But yeah, let's get going. I just feel like I need some fresh air, you know? Let's do it. back from my walk and I'm just gonna do a quick little makeup situation so warm weather is approaching I really want to perfect like my everyday makeup that is maybe not necessarily a full beat but still feels like I've done something and I think I figured it out but we'll see we'll see but, but I've been recently really obsessed with the glowy makeup serum the Laneige glowy makeup serum is kind of everything that I wanted it um makes my skin look so good without anything really on it which we love and you only need like three drops which is nice but yes i never discussed monkey man um which was directed and written by dev patel and it was so incredible i need to do like a google deep dive on it because i just feel like there was so much cultural context that i'm not as familiar with but even outside of that like even like not really knowing that much it still was so beautiful and well thought out and it's an action movie don't get me wrong it is an action movie it is foundationally like a boy movie but i think deb patel was so intentional about incorporating both the things that um he finds very beautiful and very wise very graceful about indian culture and then also being critical of other aspects of their politics and society so i don't know i just thought it was well thought out and um just a really interesting movie so i definitely would recommend going and seeing it because it was very entertaining i feel like the audience was also very like they were clocked in and paying attention and like we all gasped at the same parts and like sat up at the same parts. So um, yeah, it just, mm, so good. I think today I'm actually going to, I think I'm gonna do a skin tint today. Sometimes I don't even do that uh, because I just think this primer just really like blurs my skin enough. But I've been back in my say slip tint era, which like I'm still a little bit conflicted one, I think my scent smells kind of weird, and I think it's probably just the SPF, but it's still like, why does it smell bad? But I'm using shade 8, and I just do like one single pump, and that, I find that that's like enough for what I need it to do. And I just use like any dense brush that you have, dip it in, and do a swipe across the face. I usually keep most of my complexion products in like my cheek area because that's where I have most of my discoloration, but um, you can apply this all over the face. You could also use a beauty blender if you want, but for beginners too, I kind of find that brushes are easier to, to use. I feel like the cool girls of the internet have somehow convinced people that makeup looks good when you use your fingers. For some products, definitely, like I blend a lot of like my eye products in with my finger. But like most of the time, it doesn't look good, babes, okay? I need us all to get serious about it. I don't really know if you can see that much of a difference, but it just kind of evens out the skin tone and it's a little bit of SPF in there and you know, can't complain. And then I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Clear Eyebrow Gel that I have. I usually use the Benefit one, but I like to go back and forth just to mix it up. And I just comb through my eyebrows. 
I tend to go for more of like a fluffy look. Um, but you can really pick your poison. That's pretty much all I do to that. Because I did a slip tint, I kind of feel like I need to add a little bit more dimension to my face. So I'm going to use a bronzer. This is the Say Sun Melt. I did a full like makeup routine video, so you can just go and check that out if you want more details. Is a Say bronzing brush as well. And I just go on my cheekbone for some color. And then around the perimeter of my face. Okay. And then because I am who I am, I feel like I need to add some blush. Valentino Eye to Cheek. This is in the shade Sweet 4, which I think is Sweet Rebel. Um, it looks like this. It's actually very stunning. And I just use an angled blush brush. And I feel like this just gives a really nice natural glow. Brings a little bit of pink to the face. I like it. I'm not going to do mascara, but I am going to curl my lashes. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Shadow Sticks in the shade You Ain't Ready. And I use this when I don't really want a whole production. And I just want to like look see finger um when i don't want a whole production but i just want a little something something on the eye and then for lip gloss i'm actually very much into the elf i think i used this in the last video actually so let's do something different why sell candy glaze in the shade scenic brown it's just kind of like a cool tone brown shade Super hydrating, pretty pigmented to be honest, um, but that's what we're working with. Super easy, it takes like 10 minutes, 5 minutes if I weren't talking, so. Okay, let's rock and roll. Also, you could powder this if you wanted, I'm not gonna do that though. Cute, happy Thursday. Okay, so I finished getting ready. This is the makeup in natural light, just very like glowy, but simple natural you know outfit today is kind of experimental it's like feels basic but it's also experimental but i think i think it's a sleigh i'm not sure i may look back on it and be like what was that <laughs> it's a very real possibility but you know sometimes it's fun to take risks okay it really is so let that be today's lesson anyway let's do an otd cute okay so i have this like midi like tiered white dress i got a long time ago from h&m so i did that but then i kind of felt like that was a little basic and boring and while it's still a little chilly out i was like let's just add this like oversized vest situation frumpy but like hopefully it's like cool you know not like i'm trying to hide behind big clothes but like this is like a cool oversized layered fit you know tbd on whether or not i have succeeded with that i genuinely don't know how i feel about this like i feel like it looks good but i'm not really certain you know but anyway it's comfy i feel good so maybe that's the goal anyway <laughs> um boots are dolce vita which i love i've had these for a couple of years now they're black with white detailing a little bit of brown stitching they go about halfway up the calf yeah earrings are Cezanne that i adore i love them so much they're so cute and then i'm wearing my pearl catbird necklace and some of my basic everyday rings my work bag as of late has been my long my black long chomp with the brown detailing it's like the og le pliage bag i think um but that is the full fit. I feel like it's giving a little bit of like peasant preppy cowgirl. And you know, maybe it's a sleigh, maybe it's a knot. But I feel cool. So maybe that's the maybe that's the point. Maybe it's the coolness you find along the way. <laughs> I'm gonna go now.
so Natarium sent me a package I was not expecting. I'm so excited though, because these are legit my favorite lip balms. And the Cafe Collection, which I actually did try to get my hands on once, but they were sold out, is back in stock. So check these out. I love using these. I use them every morning. They're so good. And they sent me all four shades. So thanks, Naturium. <laughs> Having a little pizza moment. Oh yeah. Also, lilac. I like this color. Thank you. Does it, <laughs> does it look good? It does. It looks homemade. It's gonna look better when, when it's, it's melty. And it's gonna taste good. Yeah, 100%. Which what is, kind of crust is it? It's a Trader Joe's garlic. Um, that garlic crust, it's like literally less than two dollars. It's like a dollar. Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. I just wanted to quickly film an outro for this video. It's Again, a little bit all over the place, but I'm filming a week in my life this week just to get into a good rhythm for vlogging. Today's video is super late, which I apologize for, but I needed to film this outro and I was finishing my mini twist yesterday and this morning, so I needed to finish that. But thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, especially if you've been enjoying the vlogs. Um, yeah, I will see you next week for a week in my life video. This week coming up, I have some events and I just have a lot of like content creation work to do. So it'll be kind of like a little week in my life as a like content creator side hustle type vibe. But um, yeah, be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram. I post a lot more often throughout the week on there. I hope you had a beautiful Sunday. It was gorgeous in New York, but if you're not in New York, I hope you had a fantastic, beautiful Sunday, and I'll see you next week. Bye.